We're kicking off our visit to Chiang Mai right here at the Three Kings Monument. The city of Chiang Mai is the second largest city in all of Thailand, and it holds about two million people. Before we take you around this city and show you some of the things you can do, we're actually gonna jump outside the city about an hour and show you one of the adventure options right here in Chiang Mai. We're ready to begin our zipline adventure. I can already hear the screams coming from the jungle here. All right, we're off. Let's go! Woo! Yeah. Yeah. kilometers of zip line. That's almost two miles. I got a fast, up-close look at some primeval jungle. I also walked sky bridges between the trees, trekked to some waterfalls, and got lowered face first from the jungle canopy. Woo! My zipline tour was operated by Flight of the Gibbon, a company that has been featured on The Amazing Race and one that makes safety a priority. They also give 10% of all of their profits to rainforest conservation efforts. My guides were well trained and informed and not afraid to have a little fun at my expense yet again. They eventually did pull me back in and with plenty of time left over to check out the city of Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai was once a major stop on the Ping River trade route, and even today it is easy to see why. Commerce rules the street. It is more than just a city of great shopping, though. Chiang Mai is a city of culture. It has over 300 Buddhist wats. There are three national parks nearby, and Chiang Mai is the best place to find artisan goods in Northern Thailand. You know those beautiful umbrellas you see all over Asia, and in particular here in Thailand? We're gonna show you how they're made. Right here, this is from the mulberry tree. This is what they take, and they soak it in this type of coloring right here, and then they pound it right on this particular uh, tree stump. It then goes in here, you see the lady mixing it with water, right? She's getting it ready, and eventually, it becomes this, the actual cloth that goes on the umbrellas. But in order to put the cloth on the umbrella, what do you need? You, you need the actual frame of the umbrella. So we're gonna take you down here and show you how they're putting together by hand these little sticks that make the framework for this tiny little umbrella. It's neat, I mean, that's one of the things I love. Right here in Chiang Mai, you can get about 15 minutes outside the city and see how umbrellas have been made for hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of years. This whole group here, their entire job is to literally get these little sticks ready to make those frames for the smaller umbrellas. Regardless of the size of the umbrella, they end up over here with these ladies. And the job of these ladies is to take that paper that you saw, and in this case, you see the white paper, and to actually put it on the frames, all sorts of sizes of frames to make almost, almost very close to the finished product. Over here you see this lady working on some finishing touches. And what she's doing here is she's putting on a special glue that's gonna go around this umbrella and that special glue is gonna hold that little fringe in place. So beautiful, beautiful blue umbrellas. Obviously they're making a whole bunch of them here. And if you follow me over this way, you'll see this gentleman right here. What's he doing? He's putting the handle on this almost, almost finished product. So it's still a, uh, still a hand done process all the way down to the gentleman who literally paints the top of the finished umbrella. If you'd 
like, you can even ask one of the local artists here to put a personal design right on your very own memento right outside of Chiang Mai. After seeing the umbrellas made, I wanted to see them sold. I stopped off at the Chiang Mai Night Market to do just that. The Night Market is one of Chiang Mai's biggest attractions, one where I could find umbrellas and more being hawked on sidewalks, floors, and basements in the center of town. Artisans and traders sell almost everything at the Night Market, from handcrafted goods to paintings to trinkets, technology, and food. I didn't see one, but I heard that on good nights it is even possible to catch a traditional dance or performance. From flying over the jungle to bargaining here at night. Chiang Mai, what a day.